Hey, hi, hello. This is Varsha Sau and welcome to the QA World in my YouTube channel. So I know आप सोच रहे होंगे आज ही मैडम इतना सच सच के क्यों बैठी हुई हैं? Because of this Navdurga festival and society में पिछले नौ दिनों से इतने कुछ प्रोग्राम्स हो रहे हैं like धनुची, डांडिया, रामलीला and आपको भी नवरात्रि की बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं and माता रानी हम सब पर अपना ऐसे आशीर्वाद बनाए रखे। So let's come to the point without wasting our time and basically this is my sixth video of Selenium Automation series where I'm going to show you about find elements method. So basically what this uh, find element method does uh, and what is the fun syntax of this find element, what is the return type of uh, find element and basically the main important thing like in which exact scenario we have to use this find elements method. So uh, in this video I have prepared one demo with real time example of bookmyshow.com where I am going to show you a one proper scenario like uh, in this type of scenario you have to use this find elements method. Here I'm requesting you guys, please watch this video till the end. So you will understand properly like what is the concept about this find elements method. So let me share my screen and I'm going to uh, start with some basic point about this find elements method. So you will get proper idea. So let me start my screen. So basically this is the method name like find elements. Uh, so let's first understand the use of this method. Basically this method what does. So and in which form, which scenario we can use this method. So my first point is uh, like uh, it find multiple elements. So this method is able to find multiple elements. Like sometimes you have seen on the web page, uh, there is a uh, multiple web elements are presented, multiple items are um, presented like multiple cities name, uh, multiple uh, items on the uh, e-commerce website. So uh, there's uh, those many items it, uh, this method will uh, find and uh, what is my second point uh, oh, one second yeah so my second point is it will return list of elements yeah so as i told in first point like it will find multiple items so those many item it will return uh, in a list form and uh, what is my th third point so one second it will not throw any exception. It will just uh, give any empty list. So uh, one good thing about this method, like uh, whenever this method is not uh, getting or not finding any uh, web element on the particular uh, giving path. So this method is not uh, throwing any exceptions. It just uh, written empty list. Okay. And uh, uh, one more thing about this method, like it's a pruner. So uh, find uh, whatever uh, method I uh, saw you, saw you uh, in my previous videos like find element that is a single singular method and it's a plural. And uh, uh, what about the fifth method, fifth point? So as it is, uh, one second. So as it will return a multiple elements, we have to store those elements into a collections object like list. So. Uh, whatever uh, this method will return we have to collect this uh, uh, return elements in a uh, when uh, any collection object like we can use here list so these are the points uh, about this method and uh, let me uh, just uh, explore this here i opened that intellij and uh, this is uh, my project name sample selenium framework again i am using same project and uh, uh, basically this is a maven project and uh, i'm going to uh, share you one file which i have created previously to save the time uh, the file name class name is find multiple uh, elements and uh, in this uh, class i have created uh, this main method to start the execution oh. and uh, uh, after that i had created one driver uh, object of that uh, uh, web driver interface and i just initialized with chrome driver and uh, by using this dot get method, I want to launch this bookmyshow.com website and uh, let me execute this program. So you will see like uh, how this uh, um, bookmyshow.com is open and in, in that uh, uh, website, which scenario we want to uh, take uh, for this uh, today's example. So before execution, let me add one small uh, piece of code. So uh, I'll show you like how this will work. So basically I'm doing uh, maximization here. So you will uh, see uh, this website properly. Let me start execution it. So once this execution will start, I'll show you. It's taking few moments to uh, 
preparing this uh, files it, yeah so chrome browser is open and uh, that bookmyshow.com uh, website is open and uh, as you are seeing uh, the popular cities pop up is generated and there is a multiple cities names are uh, displayed okay so as you are seeing there is a multiple cities are uh, appeared like uh, mumbai delhi chennai pune kochi so uh, i want to show you here like uh, uh, how we can uh, take all the city names in a single uh, shot so for that purpose we are using find elements method and uh, let me show you uh, with the example of uh, this uh, code so you will understand basically uh, let me open my intellij yeah so after that basically i'm uh, calling this method driver dot find elements so as you can see uh, this is the find elements method there is a very uh, minor difference as you can see this is a singular method and this is a plural method so uh, you should have to be careful while using this find elements method and here we have to pass one uh, path for this particular uh, list so let me inspect these cities basically one second let me click this one so you can fetch easily so this is the html code for this uh, pop-up and i'm going to select all the cities names so as you can see under this ul text uh, all cities are uh, here and uh, inside this ul we have uh, list items so let me just uh, click control f and uh, double slash ul so this is the basically uh, um, i'm trying to uh, writing the path so we can fetch all the cities so uh, this is the basically uh, x path i'm writing uh, and if you are new for this x path writing so please go and watch my previous videos so you can get uh, like uh, how we can write the x path and uh, in my previous videos i had also covered few tips and tricks that will save your time and you will get very efficient way how we can uh, write this x path so here i'm using this absolute x path for uh, fetching this uh, cities so as you can see like uh, uh, double slash ul slash li uh, and under this ul tag we have 10 multiple cities and it's giving exactly 10 matchings so this is the perfect path for this purpose so let me copy this path and i'm going to using I'm going to use here and one second let me copy it okay so basically this is the part yeah so at the initial phase of this video i told like uh, this find elements uh, will return list of elements as you can check my second point like it will return list of elements so i'm going to store all these uh, elements in any um, object basically i'm uh, taking the object name is cities so uh, we we will uh, store all the um, um, cities names in this city or cities object and uh, let me uh, create this local variable as a list so uh, this is the list basically and uh, web element is a uh, data type for this um, cities so let me use this uh, uh, list object here to store all the cities names and uh, after that uh, whatever cities names are stored in this cities we have to iterate one by one so how we can you how we can iterate the list basically so this is the very uh, basic or very common uh, thing in java like uh, using for each loop or using iterator we can uh, use we can iterate the list and we can iterate all the elements one by one we can fetch the elements one by one so i'm going to here uh, use that for each loop so uh, let me show you how you can write the syntax for this for each loop so this is my bab element and uh, i'm taking uh, one more uh, object here so web element uh, uh, city and uh, i want to put all the values one by one in this city object so let me iterate this one and uh, after that i want to just print that city names basically 
so whatever city uh, whatever city name uh, stored in this city object uh, i'm going to uh, i'm going to uh, display that city so let me uh, call one get text method so basically it will print the city names on the console let me show you uh, by execution of this program let me execute that one so it will open the book my show.com then it will maximize with this line of code and then it will fetch all the 10 cities names whatever cities names are populated on this pop-up uh, that popular cities names uh, this pop-up so uh, this cities uh, list of our element will store all the city names and then uh, after that this for each loop iterate one by one so as you can see in my console window uh, all the cities names like let me one second uh, let me minimize it so you can easily check yeah so as you are seeing uh first one is mumbai first one is mumbai and second one is delhi bangalore hyderabad and uh, these are the uh, in the same sequence delhi bangalore hyderabad Ahmedabad, and last one is kochi so this one this way you can uh fetch all the multiple items basically all the listed items in a single uh shot let me put some weight here and then i'll uh, execute again so you will get how we have how uh, this is this method is working basically so let me put five second three seconds wait so after each uh, city's name is printing it will uh, wait for three seconds and then uh, it will uh, print uh, next the next city's names so i'm going to re-executing this uh, file and uh, one second yeah so whatever it's printed mumbai and then you can see it's printed uh bangalore and then it's printing hyderabad ahmedabad and chandigarh chennai pune kolkata yeah so this is the perfect uh way uh, if we have multiple uh, items, multiple web elements on the web page and we want to fetch basically, uh, uh, let's assume if there is a multiple uh, buttons, like sometimes there is a multiple click button. So you want to click one by one. So in that scenario, also you can use this find uh, elements method. Uh, it will really help for you. But you have to basically uh, and focus on the syntax like uh, uh, what is the syntax of this method we have to call this method uh, using a web driver object and we have to pass the uh, path of the particular uh, web element uh, what, what web element we want to fetch and then we have to store all this web element in the list form and after that we have to iterate this uh, list elements one by one so yeah I hope you understand these things uh, like how we can use that find, find elements method and uh, uh, in my next videos I am going to show you how you can uh, differentiate find element and find elements. I hope you liked that video and more on it was giving you a better understanding about this find elements method and uh, uh, please give a big thumbs up on my this video and if you are new to this channel please like and share and subscribe my channel. So in my next video, I'll come with the differences between find element and find elements method. So you will get proper understanding and you will get a proper scenarios in which case we have to use uh, this find element and find elements method. What is the syntax of that? What is the difference between these two uh, methods? So yeah, uh, thank you for this video. Uh, see you in next video. Bye.